I'm gonna show you the best, easiest, and probably most convenient way to track profits and expenses with your e-commerce brand. Honestly, staying on track with your business finances is one of the most important things when starting a new business. For instance, today, my store has made $650 so far, but it's still early and I'm expecting sales to be between $1,500 and $2,500 by the end of the day. However, not everything is profit because there are so many expenses that will be deducted from this amount. I'm sure you can relate to this, but not losing the overview of all of these expenses is quite challenging because there are so many of them. There are ad spend costs from probably different sources such as Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads. Then there are the cost of goods and fulfillment fees and maybe you ship to different countries and have different shipping rates. There are Shopify processing fees and of course there are all of your Shopify app subscriptions and your Shopify plans. So it's kind of tricky to stay on track with all of these expenses because knowing your data at all times will help you make data driven decisions and to make sure that your profits are being optimized. The problem is that there's not really an efficient or really effective way to do this with your e-commerce platform. I mean of course you can create access spreadsheets and add all of your expenses and your profits on a daily basis but to be honest I don't really want to do this because this is quite time consuming and honestly I think you and me should put most of your focus and effort into growing your e-commerce business. So let me hop on my computer and show you exactly what's the most convenient and also best way to keep track of your expenses and profits. Back at my computer, the first thing I want you guys to do is go to the Shopify app store and download the B Profit app. The full name of the app is B Profit Profit Analytics and as you can see, it gets a bunch of good reviews and it almost has a perfect rating. The great thing about this app is that you can just charge, <laughs> start, there was a sale. Sorry guys, the sale got me interrupted, but the great thing is that you can just start with a seven day free trial so you won't get charged in the first seven days. Before we dive into the setup of the B Profit app, let me give you a quick overview of the B Profit dashboard. Right here in the top, we have the most important metric we have ad spend, sales, rows, and orders. All the data that you can see are from August 18th until September 18th. But of course, you can customize the dates in any way you want. I really like the profit trends chart that you won't be able to see in your regular Shopify analytics because it tells you how your profits, sales, and costs develop over time and also how they correlate with each other. And this is really insightful to see because more sales doesn't necessarily mean more profits. In the next overview, you can track your store's metrics and your performance. And this overview is customizable in any way you want. And by the way, these are not my numbers. I think these are pretty much random numbers because transaction fees are 70,000, total sales are 70,000. So don't take these numbers too serious. In the next section, there's a profit and expenses breakdown. And I think this is really self-explanatory. In addition, there's a product breakdown with all of the products in your store and you can easily compare and check the performance of each product. And then we get an order trend for your store. And last but not least, my favorite chart, the marketing chart. This chart indicates your ad spend on different marketing platforms such as Facebook, Google, or Snapchat. But it also gives you information about the rowers which I really like. What I love about it is that it's so easy to compare the return on ad spend of your different marketing platforms which is simply amazing if you're trying to evaluate the performance of your marketing means. When you open BeProfit for the first time it's gonna look like this. As you can see in the top menu there are all of these different sections where we're gonna add all of our expenses. We're gonna add our ad spend, our fixed and our variable costs, questions to our inventory, shipping costs, cost of goods and processing fees. Overall this process is designed extremely user-friendly but let me walk you through the process real quick. Quick. At first, BeProfit is going to ask you which e-commerce platform you're using and obviously in my case it's Shopify. But BeProfit also works with any other major e-commerce platform such as WooCommerce, Wix and many more. Then you have the option to add your expenses. You either have fixed expenses or variable expenses. Examples for fixed expenses would be your Shopify plan that you get charged monthly or subscription to other Shopify apps. Variable expenses are for instance influencers that you're working with one or two times but not on a monthly basis. In the shipping section you can add your shipping costs. If you're working with a shipping provider you can simply click on manage shipping providers and select the shipping provider that you're using and as a result your shipping costs will be integrated automatically so it's extremely convenient I think now let's move over to the biggest expenses the ad costs and honestly like every time I look at my ad spend it really hurts my heart and the great thing here is that you can simply select the ad platform that you're using for instance Facebook Bing or TikTok and your ad spend will be automatically synchronized with BeProfit so you don't have to type in any data manual and I think most of us are using Facebook ads TikTok ads and eventually also Google Ads and as you can see all the major platforms are listed here. What a lot of people are actually forgetting about are processing fees from Shopify and also PayPal. As you can see here processing fees from PayPal and also Shopify are synchronized automatically in case you're using any external payment gateway you can just add the percentage right here in this box. And last but not least you have your production costs, your product costs and you can simply add the cost of goods right here. That's already it for the setup process. It's super easy as you can see because all the data are transferred automatically and it's so much better 
and so much more convenient than creating Excel spreadsheets that you have to update on a daily basis. As you can see on December 10th, my store made sales of around $1,900. Cost of goods were $880, ad spend was $372. That leaves me with a net profit of $1,029. On the next day, things didn't went as good as on the previous day because total sales were only $549. I don't know what went wrong there, but you have good and bad days. That's just how it is with e-commerce. But even after deducting all expenses, I was still able to walk away with a net profit of $61. And today, December 12th, so far sales at $1,300. Ad spend is at $350 and so far the total Total profit is $610. As you can see with this platform, it's just so easy to keep track of your expenses and also of your profits. Just have a look on your dashboard and you know exactly where you stand. As you can see in the graph, ad spend is kept quite general, so the software doesn't really differentiate between Facebook ads or Google ad spend. However, if you're working with multiple ad platforms such as Google ads, Facebook ads, or TikTok ads, I can really recommend you to get you the ultimate plan because then you can just click on marketing because here you can allocate a specific ad platform to its expenses and its profit so you can compare your different ad platforms that you're using and see which one makes you the most money and this is extremely easy to do so you just hit ad spend here then you select the matching platform in my case that's Facebook right here on the ad entity there's this drop down menu and you can select an ad platform but you can also select a campaign an ad set or an ad so if you want you can get super detailed reports here and then you match it to the matching ad property so you can choose Facebook Google Pinterest or whatever ad platform you're using this is just amazing if you want to compare the ad platforms that you're using and compare them with each other I'd like to make a quick remark that I noticed while editing this video the tool that I've just described is called UTM attribution tool in addition to comparing the performance of different ad platforms of your store this gives you the opportunity to attribute specific campaigns ad sets and even individual ads using this tool you can actually track the performance of each of your ads as you know this is such a valuable thing especially following the recent ios changes and their impact on facebook ads attribution b profit you can get even more into detail because b profit provides you with cohort analysis i know it's a fancy term but it simply means that the software is grouping your customers according to when they made their first purchase each of the results Starting groups is a cohort and the entire process of analyzing the data of the different cohorts is called cohort analysis. And this is really interesting to see if you want to analyze how your customer's journey develops over time. Even though the software is generated extremely user friendly, you might have some questions and we have some questions. You can just click on this chat symbol here and then you can chat directly with the support to figure out any issues that you may have. But for now, definitely make use of the free trial from BeProfit so you can figure out for yourself how you like it and I also have a 15% discount code here and as a result I'm getting a small commission and you get a discount of 15% I think that's really fair for both of us and of course thank you so much for watching guys hit the like button and subscribe I'll see you next time